Hey everybody, welcome to Physics is Fun. Today we're going to look at the basics of torque. What is torque? We hear the word torque a lot. If you're into cars or you may have heard foot pound of torque before, or maybe newton meter depending on where you're from. Um, but a lot of times it's not really clear exactly what that means when we talk about torque. We're going to start with forces. Forces are required to accelerate things, translate them. Right, left, up, down. That's what forces do. Torques rotate things. So we can think about clockwise or counterclockwise. That requires a torque to do that. And now what I have here is a really nice, simple demonstration to help show us how we calculate torque and what torque is. I have a one meter long bar. It's got some mass. And it's going to require a torque to rotate. Here I have a force gauge. Is measuring in newtons of force. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my one meter long bar, put my force gauge at the very end, and then I'm just going to rotate it. And we see we get four newtons of force required to lift it. Now, because this angle is nice, 90 degrees, which is how we're going to keep it for this whole video, I might get into other angles later. Um, but for right now, we're going to keep it nice. The way we're going to calculate torque is just force times the distance from rotation. So 4 meters times 1 newton, nice and easy, 4 newton meters of torque to rotate this bar. All right, now I'm going to go into the middle of the bar. So now I'm at 0.5 meters away from rotation axis. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate the bar. And you'll see we're getting 8 newtons of force required to rotate it there. 8 newtons times 0.4. That's right, 4 newton meters of torque, again, to rotate the bar. Now we're going to go to 0.25 meters. And you can make a prediction on this one. Where do you think it's going to go? What do you think the value is going to be? Think about that. Here we go. And yeah, it's about 16 newtons. 0.25 times 16, 4 newton meters of torque. So it turns out it requires 4 newton meters of torque to rotate this bar regardless of where I apply the force. The difference is the force changes. And that's the whole idea. So torque, 4 newton meters to do this. That's what torque means, to rotate. The force required to do that is times the distance. So out here, it's just 4, nice and easy. In here is 8, a little more difficult. In here, it's 16, even harder. Now, if I go again, half again, whoa, 32 newtons. That hurts my hand a lot. Still 4 newton meters of torque, but my hand is hurting because it's 32 newtons of force required to do that. Go back out, whoa, it's nicer. 16, 8, all the way back out to 4 again. For all of those numbers, again, the torque required to rotate is the same, 4 newton meters. The force applied to each distance changes. And as I get closer to rotation axis, it takes more force to generate the same torque. That, this is the exact same reason why wrenches work really well. To turn a nut, that's pretty difficult. When you have a wrench, you take your force and you move it a distance away. And now you can apply a torque using less force. Why a wrench is nice. That's why screwdrivers are even helpful. Because the distance you are from rotation axis is just the thickness of the screwdriver handle. So that means that you can generate a torque with less force than if you try to do it directly with your fingers. We see torque all over the place in many, many applications. But this is just the basics of how that works. Uh, all right, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm a shorts creator mostly. I put a shorts up every week, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. Go ahead and give me a subscribe so you can see those. I'm going to post these long format videos a little bit more sporadically. I'd like to get back in the habit of every other week, but these long formats are designed to kind of take a little deeper dive into the shorts so you get a better understanding of the concepts. Um, I also have a merch store, link in bio. We got t-shirts, we got stickers. So go ahead and check that out. And remember, physics is pretty fun.